Welcome to uh, my video on the multiplicative inverse. Multiplicative. That means we're multiplying, and it's the inverse of a number, right? That's called the reciprocal. So basically, you take a number, let's say 3, and then you you say, well, that's, that's the same thing as, as 3 over 1, because 3 over 1 means 3 divided by 1, right? And that's just 3. So the reciprocal of that is this fraction flipped upside down. So the 1 from the denominator becomes the numerator. And the numerator 3 becomes the denominator. Right? This fraction just flipped. So these two fractions are the reciprocals of each other. And in general, we say a and 1 over a are reciprocals. Why? Because the product of any number, like 3, times its reciprocal has to equal 1. And this just means, and this makes sense, it means 3, right, 3 groups of 1 third. So we have a third, and a third, and a third. And when you add those up, you will always get 1. Or you can think of this as one-third of the number 3. So 3 divided by 3, which is also 1. And that's what they're asking here. But they're saying what value for n makes the equation true, which means 3 times n right, equals 1. So what value do I plug in here so that this, the left side of the equation, equals 1? And that is one-third, because 3 times one-third 3 times a third is equal to 1. So the answer here is B. And they, and they might ask this in other ways. Pauli multiplies two numbers whose product is 1. That means we take a number A times B, and that answer, that result, is called the product. right? And in this case, the product is 1. So if one of the numbers is 2, 2 times something, let's say B, equals 1, what is the other number? Well, one way to think about this is to find the reciprocal. So 2 times 1 half gives us 1. That's saying 2 groups of a half, which is 1. So here, the other number is 1 half. Another way of thinking about it is, well, if 2 times b, and this is a quick way of writing that, the number 2 next to b, it's a fast way of writing 2 times b equals, excuse me, 1. Well, then 1 divided by 2 would equal b, right? 2 times something is 1. Well, the inverse operation, 1 divided by 2 has to equal b. Just like 1 divided by b would equal 2, which is cool because we said before b is 1 half. So that means 1 divided by 1 half has to be 2, right? 1 divided by this number will give us 2. And that's true, 1 divided by a half is 2, and, and part of the reason that is is because this is asking how many 1 halves go into two into 1. Well, there are 2 1 halves in 1, so 1 divided by a half is, is 2, and we'll go over that more in other videos. But in this video, it was really the focus focusing on the reciprocal. All right, hope it helped.